The age for slaughter really depends on how, how fast it's gained to get to a finished weight. So it isn't really the age, you don't say it's 16 months or 21 months or whatever it might be, but you want it to get up to a mature slaughterable size with a proper degree of finish. If you look at the attributes that they look for when they're grading these carcasses at the end, um, fat cover is part of it, marbling, tenderness, uh, fat color, the color of the meat itself, all of those are the kinds of things that you're aiming for. So typically it isn't so much the chronological age that matters as how close is it to a, an acceptable degree of finish, or four millimeters of back fat or whatever parameter you're, you're using. I was saying the other day that um, I'm not even convinced we should be fixating on finishing per se because most of the meat that most of us eat is hamburger. It isn't steaks and it isn't roasts and it isn't things that really matter in terms of tenderness and fat color and all that kind of stuff. So hamburger is, is lean with some trimmings thrown in, typically from a grass-finished animal, if we were going to call it grass-finished hamburger. And it's a whole lot cheaper to market a 900 pound or a 1,000 pound carcass than it is to finish it up to 1,200 pounds or 1,100 pounds. So if you have a fraction of your herd that doesn't make it to finish, it isn't gaining fast enough, it's, it's not gonna, it's not gonna do it, well why not shunt it off into hamburger at 900 pounds rather than risk ending up with an animal that either doesn't finish or is not tender. And the tenderness of the animal is really the degree of finish. It isn't, it isn't uh, uh, the particular age of the animal. It's, it's, it's how close did you get it to the proper degree of finish. So, and if it's going to be marketed under your name, so it's not a commodity now, it's, it's Joe Blow beef, then, then you don't want people getting meat that isn't tender because they're not going to come back and buy your meat again. And it's you that's going to get it in the neck, not the beef sector. So, so why not take those animals that aren't going to make it and just make hamburger out of them? It would be interesting to look at the economics of that because what matters to the producer is the net. So if you can make more money by, by slaughtering it younger rather than finishing it, then why not?